Election day less than two weeks away and an organization that represents teachers is keeping the focus on education. The Mississippi chapter of the American Federation of Teachers presented a Meet the Candidates forum tonight in Jackson. The goal? To have voters hear from candidates about their plans for public education if elected. A gathering of candidates seeking election for the first time as well as another term. Speaking to a group of voters looking to hear something significant on what they'll do to improve educational outcomes for children and families. The Meet the Candidates Forum was sponsored by the American Federation of Teachers, the Mississippi chapter's final gathering of candidates ahead of Election Day. I want them to fight for education. I want them to stand firm. I want them to persuade the people on the other side of the aisle that if you don't fund education, everybody in this state depends on quality work. Geraldine Bender believes the next generation of Mississippi's workforce won't be able to be successful without more focus and investment from those who would control purse strings as well as policy. Quality nurses, quality doctors, quality lawyers, all of those things come from education. We put our children in a situation where it is a perpetuation of schoolhouse to jailhouse. Our over-reliance on mass incarceration is a problem. To me, uh, making sure that our children are educated is a criminal justice reform that we need to make. We have to compete with the world. It's a world economy now, and we've got to be prepared for that. With our children, they are our future. Parents should understand it's not just the teacher's responsibility, it's the community's responsibility, and we have to do that collectively. Organizers have committed to better schools and more teacher support in Mississippi, but they're stressing that no improvements can happen without the act of voting. Being able to walk the street, get a job, buy a house, medicine, all of those things come from an elected person. So you need to get up, maintain what you have by going to vote for somebody that's going to raise it, give you a little bit more. And don't forget, Election Day is November 5th, just eight days away.